So as you know, glioblastoma are the most common form of primary malignant brain tumors that we see in the United States. Every year around 15,000 patients are diagnosed with glioblastoma. Despite our advances in treatment options, including surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, unfortunately, the outcomes of these patients continues to be dismal. Most patients survive around 15 or so months after diagnosis. One of the big challenges in glioblastoma treatment is uh, making sure that there's adequate drug delivery to the brain, which has been a major challenge for these tumors compared to the other systemic cancers where there's not an issue of blood brain barrier. So glioblastoma, as you know, is a tumor with dismal outcomes with median survivals of 15 months. Uh, we do find out that MGMT is a major molecular marker of outcomes in these patients. Those patients who have unmethylated MGMT uh, typically survive around 13 months, and those who have MGMT methylated tumors uh, survive around 18 to 20 months. Recently, we had an update of Checkmate 498, which was a trial of nivolumab, which is an anti-PD-1 drug in patients with unmethylated MGMT tumors. And there was a press release showing that the study, unfortunately, did not show any improvement in survival with the use of nivolumab in such patients. Uh, additionally, there was another trial that was reported recently which looked at a drug called ABT414, which is a monoclonal antibody drug conjugate, uh, which was looking at patients who had the EGFR amplification in glioblastomas. EGFR amplification occurs in around 40 to 50 percent of glioblastoma patients. And here they were using a strategy of Trojan horse where they were using the EGFR receptors to get into the uh, cell and then release the cytotoxic drug. And unfortunately, a recent press release showed that the uh, trial did not achieve uh, its primary endpoint and actually uh, further evaluation of this drug has been curtailed.